if I want to put a chamfered corner on this part, uh, we're going to do the same thing we did earlier with the radius button. We're going to select this corner. Um, there's another way you can select two lines. You could hold down the control button on your keyboard, and that'll let you select multiple pieces at the same time. But the easiest way is to do the green square. So we're going to click and drag right to left, have the, both of these lines inside of that green square, let go. It's going to select both of those lines and click this chamfer tool. So after you click it, you'll see your parameters open up here. You could change it to have the, the one leg longer or shorter than the other here at direction one or distance one and distance two. Um, if I want to keep that 45 degree angle, I click lock angle right here. And anytime I change one of these parameters, so if I want to do a 3 8 chamfer on there, it's going to change this one to be the same. So if after I tell it what size chamfer I want, you click the enter button or green check mark to apply it. And it's going to trim off those lines and give you a chamfer. If I want a chamfer on this right corner, I'll just select these two lines, click on the chamfer button again, and it's going to remember your last known input and give me that 3 8 chamfer. Uh, click enter or the green check mark to accept, and I got a chamfer on that corner. 